tomorrow, GMA puts the ooh-la-la and the oh-my-gosh in bridal fashion. The bride really wants to show some skin. Plunging necklines, deep slits, and is black the new white in wedding dresses? See it all on Good Morning America, tomorrow on ABC. Hello there to all of our Facebook fans. I'm Paula Ferris with the top stories on this Wednesday. And happy February 1st, by the way. Well, after that disappointing showing in South Carolina, Mitt Romney just crushed Newt Gingrich in yesterday's Florida primary. And overnight, we learned that Romney will soon have Secret Service protection. More spring-like weather is on tap for today after the warmest January in six years. These are pictures from Chicago. A few more record highs are expected along the East Coast and still above normal in the Midwest. New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning was getting a whole lot of attention at the annual Super Bowl Media Day yesterday in Indianapolis. He called it all a special experience that every player should cherish. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady, meantime, said that come Sunday's game, he just wants to make sure he doesn't throw any interceptions. For the first time, fans could buy tickets to Media Day. Thousands paid about $25 to get into Lucas Oil. And a milestone tonight for David Letterman, who will mark his 30th anniversary on late night TV. Actor Bill Murray in something of a New York Giants outfit, not really sure what that was, started the festivities last night presenting Letterman with a cupcake on fire with 30 candles. Letterman's producer says tonight's 30th anniversary show will not be an extravaganza because Letterman doesn't like drawing attention to himself. Well, happy February 1st. It's all about Punxsutawney Phil tomorrow, everybody. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Paula Ferris, and happy Facebooking. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Friday, Demi and Ashton, Kim and Chris, Russell and Katie, Shalo and Mark. What is it their publicists don't want you to know about their divorces? Is he going to walk away a richer man than he came into it? Probably. Friday, it's Hollywood on an all-new 2020 at 10. After What Would You Do on ABC.